From the solar system to galactic clusters, the more we study our universe, the more aware we become of how vast and magnificent it is. In my other videos, I've laid out the basics of our current understanding as to how the universe came about. One question I've noticed that continuously pops up over the years is this. Where did the Big Bang happen? Where was this point in space? The question is surprisingly difficult to answer. It is my hope that this video will lay out a sufficient explanation to answer the question of where our universe began. The way we normally find a location in day-to-day -day conversation is by relating it to some other objects. The position in this case is relative. For instance, my desk is two feet away from my bed. The library is five miles from my house. Earth is 93 million miles away from the sun. Using known locations, then, we can describe distance and, if we be more specific, directional relationships between locations. And we can give a more mathematical description by making use of a coordinate system. A coordinate system will let us select an arbitrary origin, a unit of distance measurement, and the axes necessary to geometrically determine the above information. The Cartesian coordinate system, commonly used in mathematics, is an example of such a system. So is our latitude and longitude system to locate points on the Earth. And on a grander scale, we can actually locate any object in the universe by relating it to the Earth as seen in the sky via the equatorial coordinate system. The question then is, why can we not apply this same coordinate system to find the location of the origin of the universe itself? Here we are, at the beginning of the universe. A pretty exciting place, right? As we watch the universe expand and evolve, we see galaxies and stars. But how far away from the origin of the universe are they? Remember when I said that the point of the origin of the universe was everywhere and nowhere at the same time? Well, here's where it comes into play, because every point in the universe is the origin. You see, the issue is that of a reference point. In the simulation we just watched, the reference point was outside of the universe looking in. But this point doesn't actually exist, it's outside of space, looking through dimensionless nothingness into our universe. This frame of reference assumes a larger space somehow different from our own universe into which we can look in and reference its origin. But all we know about is our own universe, which means we cannot accept any outside reference frame as valid. And we have to step inside. The Big Bang looks similar from the inside to how it did in the simulation, with every object moving away from every other object in space. The key difference is that in our simulation, it looked like everything was moving away from a central point. However, from our new, inside perspective, we get a proper view. Now if we look at any other object in space and watch the Big Bang occur, we would see every other object in space moving away from where we were viewing from. So for instance, if I was on Earth, I would see everything moving away from me. Likewise, if I was on Mars, I'd see everything moving away from me, or on a drama, or anywhere else. Space expands in such a way that every object will expand away from every other object, and the rate of expansion depends directly on distance. This is what's known as Hubble's Law. So, from the perspective of me on Earth, the universe look like, looks like it's expanding away from me, so I would be the center. But if I was on Mars, I'd have a similar perspective, or an Andromeda, or anywhere else in the universe. So every point is the center of the universe, and yet we can't have multiple centers of the universe, so there really is no point. There's no point such that if I was on Earth, and someone on Mars, and then someone on Andromeda, could all, we could all point and say, oh right there behind the Crab Nebula, that's the center of the universe, that's where everything came from. There's no such point. Every point expands away from every other point. And this is the explanation, but it's a difficult one to kind of grasp. Visualization is really difficult with this because we're used to having this outside perspective looking in and using that perspective we get this false sense of a center. So what I'd recommend is sitting down and thinking about this for a while. It took me more than just a few minutes to figure this explanation out. And I've also provided a few descriptions, a few resources actually, in the description of the video to help you solidify your understanding of what I'm trying to say here. There's great analogies with balloons, rubber bands, all sorts of kind of stretching and points moving away from every other point. It's very useful, so I check those out. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any more questions you like answered, please post them on my profile for YouTube, and hopefully I can do a little video podcast on them if I think they're worth talking about, or I can just send you a message if that works better. So again, if you have any more questions you'd like answered on the Big Bang or physics, please post them on my profile, and I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible.